Bit by bit, this locomotive is being restored with meticulous movement. Fifty years ago, it played its part in the final chapter of a wartime great. The state funeral of Sir Winston Churchill brought the country to a standstill. His coffin transported to his final resting place by rail, the train pulled by a locomotive bearing his symbolic name. It was manned by driver Alfred Hurley and 22-year-old fireman Jim Lester. Half a century later, and Jim's back in the cab, he remembers the day well. It was the amount of people um, that came to watch the train go by. I wrote recently that it was a sad occasion. You, there was a genuine, you could, you could almost feel, feel it. The locomotive, Winston Churchill, has been restored by staff and volunteers at Midhans Railway in Ropley. Painter Ollie Collins is tasked with bringing it back to its former glory. If you had seen it before, it was really battered. It just needed some work doing to it, and now it's had a nice paint job. It looks really good. Once it goes outside, it will look really nice, and now it's got the orange, the lining on it, it will just look superb outside. The carriage which held Churchill's coffin is also being restored in County Durham and is on loan from the Swanage Railway Trust. Both will go on display at the National Railway Museum in York as part of its Churchill's Final Journey exhibition in January. Chris Robinson, BBC South Today.